What's up guys, welcome to the Sport Day, my name is Giovanni and welcome to another Napoli review. So, if you're new to my channel, if you haven't seen a video before, um, obviously this is not a highlight video. It's going to be me talking about, a, you know, like a little overview about the, the, the game with uh, Napoli and Kievo. I do this every week, so I'm trying to be some sort of journalist or analyst in the future. I love sports, so if you're with that and you want to support me, please subscribe to the channel. If not, I understand if you want to exit the video, so I just want to quickly give that disclaimer out. Now, this video... Um, for all you Napoli fans, for all the Kievo fans, not going to be biased. Very disappointed, though, in the result. 1-1, uh, especially being a Napoli fan, you know, uh, son of, a, of Italian parents, both from Napoli. Um, you know, I love the team, but Kievo really, really played well today, and I thought that they deserved a win, and, uh, you know, Napoli just got very lucky. They were also unlucky, which I'll get to in a second, so let's just go right into the game. First goal is scored by uh, Sardo, Gennaro Sardo, in the 18th minute, 17th minute, you know, it was a pretty good goal, Rafael really couldn't do anything about it, but the defense were let him get into free space, and he, you know, pretty much put a rocket through the net, uh, it was a nice goal, I wasn't expecting it from him, but, you know, he got it done, and he put Kievo up in front, and throughout the first half, they maintained that lead, um, before that, you know, they, Kievo started off pretty well, but they only had about, like, three shots the whole game, and that one shot that they took, that one shot on goal was a goal, so they made most of that opportunity. And then what they did was they closed space and put very, very tight spaces, very put tight pressure on Napoli, made Napoli go into tight spaces, which they couldn't really do anything with. Um, Mertens was probably our best offensive player. Higuain had an off day. I don't know what happened to him, but Mertens hit the post in the first half, and then he also you know, took a shot. Pugioni, uh, Pugioni saved it, and Higuain had a wide open net. All he had to do was tap it in. And he taps it across the net, across the goal. So I don't know what he's trying to do, but very, very big opportunity missed on that on that play. So um, you know, besides that, first half it ended one zero. Coming out of the second half, you know, Napoli had a lot of possession. I think the official stat was sixty six percent possession. Napoli had the ball a lot, but they couldn't get anything going. They had like twenty three shots the whole game, and only four of them were on goal. Um, I don't know who hit the post. Uh, you know. Martins hit the post twice on a free kick and that shot. So that was very unlucky. His free kick was spectacular. Left Pujoni just standing there. Um, but it hit the post in the second half. Uh, Insigne also hit the post. He should have, I think, tried to go under the goalkeeper or, or try to at least force that at him for a rebound. But he went up top and hit off the crossbar. So unlucky there as well. But, you know, Hamsik, I didn't like Hamsik today. I thought he was lacking a good first touch. Like when he tried to get the ball. And tried to advance quickly. I felt like he was fumbling with his feet a little bit. Um, Iguain, like I said, I don't know what happened to him. With that open chance, um, there's another chance he could have volleyed it and he tried to take it down. I think overall as a whole, not really doing too much, trying too much to like you know do some some skill moves and you know try to get past the defense. Like too many touches is what I'm trying to say, and that's what really screwed them over. I would say, um, Jorginho made his debut. Uh, pretty good debut. I mean, really, there's nothing for him to do in that in that match. But he did. He had accurate passes and stuff like that. Um, on the defensive side, you know, Kievo scored that one goal. Other than that, Napoli wasn't that bad. Was not that bad. But Majo's Majo was just having a pretty bad game. I think I think today this was one of his worst games because in the past few weeks, he's been doing very well for right back at the right back position. So I don't know what happened there. But uh, luckily, in the 88th minute. Off a corner kick, Raul Albiol was able to get the ball. I think it was on a clearance or a rebound. I'm not sure. I think on a clearance. And he was able to score. I don't know how he got it. He got a little deflection, but he scored. He saved Napoli at that point. Um, and that was a result, 1-1. The thing is that Kievo, like I said, forced Napoli into tight spaces. Napoli, if they had to launch a, you know, a ball over the air, like Mertens missed a chance on a header. But besides that, that's the only really opportunities they had because... Kievo did an excellent job of defending and, and closing them in. They were almost going to get away with three points. Napoli's lucky to get that one point because they need to keep pace with Roma. But, hey, if Roma wins, we're six points behind now. So that's very bad. We're in a, a little bad predicament. We need a win. We need to keep winning now. We, we can't afford ties and losses anymore. We need to win. But a tie is better than a loss. So I'll give them that. But like I said, Mertens is probably our best offensive player. The guy's playing great. Higuain had an off day. Insigne came in. Too late, didn't really have anything to do, except, you know, he almost scored. He almost, you know, he hit the crossbar, but well-deserved point for Kievo, and Napoli need to bounce back very strongly against Atalanta. Otherwise, they are in trouble. But Kievo, again, great performance. Um, 
you know, they put a heck of a fight out there. So, especially at Sao Paulo, which is a d difficult stadium for anyone to play in. So, congrats to them on the great tie. A great game. Uh, it, better in the second half. And now, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel for more, that would be awesome. Just let me know what you guys think of the match. Please leave a like if you can. Uh, grazie a tutti per guardare questo video. E ci vediamo dopo. So, I'll see you guys later. Sorry I didn't speak any Italian, but I was a little disappointed. So, I didn't want to make any mistakes. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace.